Hello, my name is Matthew Marquin. Welcome to this uh, video tutorial on how to clone using the alpha method. So in this particular method, uh, sometimes people find that as they, and I'm actually going to open up my doc, a new document here, and we're just going to do from my previous video, it remembers the 1024 by 1024 image. I will do that. Uh, we'll just hit create. Okay, so I have my image size here, and I want to use an actual image to bring in. So I'm just going to open that last image from the previous video also. We're going to copy this image into the document by dragging it in there, and then I can just shut this off because we don't need it anymore. Okay, um, I'm also just going to hit Control-T, and this is all the same stuff that we saw in the last video. Shrink it down, get it to the same size, uh, and then we're going to crop it to make sure that we don't have any of those hidden pixels. Now I'm going to duplicate the layer by going over here and dragging over that new layer button. And I'm going to take this second layer here and I'm going to offset it. So you see that uh, this one's offset, has the seams there. Now also it does remember from the last video and from the last time I actually did it. And it just basically offset it uh, 512 by 512, right? Because I have a 1024 by 1024 image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, this top one, the one that looks like nothing's going on with it, um, put it above, or the bottom one I should say, and put it above on the top of the, uh, the uh, seamed one, right? Or the ones that we can see the seams. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, I'm actually going to put a mask on it. So over here we can click on add a layer mask, and by default it's set to white. If we actually change that to black, so I make sure my color is black over here, I grab the paint bucket, I can dump that in. Basically what's going on is I make it completely invisible. So now... If I turn this layer on and off, it pretty much looks like nothing's happened. But actually what's going on is the layer has just been completely hidden using the mask. Now if I want to paint it back in, I can come over here, grab a brush, and usually try to br uh, grab like a brush that looks up um, something like this where it's broken up a little bit. And I don't necessarily want it to be a nice perfect brush. Make it a little bit bigger. Make sure that it has kind of soft edges, things like that. And then you can change your color now from black to white. If you hit X, you can actually change the color. Excuse me, change the colors. Or if you click on this, you can also change the colors but now that it's white I can come in here and paint in the original now if you're getting an issue where uh, you can see seams this one actually works pretty well where I can't uh, then you want to change your brush and try it again but remember this is non-destructive it's just a mask so if any time I just hit X I change my color back to black I can paint back in uh, any of that stuff so that's pretty much how masks work anyways but we can try different brushes I mean clearly that one works maybe something like this might work too I'll just make the brush a little bit bigger using my bracket keys make sure once again I have the white color and then go in and paint Okay, now this actually, the cool thing about this method is that it does a, a much better job of uh, avoiding that murky, muddy look that sometimes you get when you use a clone stamp, right? So you can kind of see right there, that looks pretty good. If I shut this off, you'll see the seams originally uh, coming back there or whatever. But just real quick, if I grab this layer down here and go to show you once again the clone method, if I select an area and I start painting, like I can start painting areas, right? Let me try this again. But if I keep kind of painting over the same layer or things like that, you can kind of get this effect where we're starting to get a little bit muddy, right? It doesn't keep the same detail. Uh, maybe you're going to see the same details repeating too much because you keep copying the same area. Whatever the case is, I'm just going to undo that a bunch of steps. Um, but you can see that's why we want to avoid, in some cases, the clone method because the clone method can do uh, some blurry things. So this is helping us, of course. We don't have any scenes, but of course we still need to make it an actual tiled texture. So what you can do is now we can just make a copy of this, everything we see by hitting control a to select all and then hitting control shift c not just control c but adding shift to it to do what is known as a copy merged if you don't remember the hotkey you can always go up to the top here and hit edit and then go down to copy merge and you'll see the hotkey right there and then control v to paste it in so basically all we're doing is we're pasting in everything we're seeing so these two layers combine if i just copied or hit control c without adding the shift i would only copy the layer i had selected and not the two of them combined so this one we can double check to see if it works so you can come to the top go filter offset remember just because it remembers from the last one of course we can always go other and offset down there if that was not our last filter and we can just zoom in take a look and see if this looks good and as we can tell I actually don't see any seams at all so it worked out pretty good uh, first try so that is the alpha method of tiling textures and hopefully uh, this helps you guys and uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video